This is Andy Perrault for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be joined by Lee Selby over Zoom. Lee, first and foremost, how have you been keeping? I've been keeping very well, thank you. Good to hear, mate. Good to hear. Um, before we obviously come on to the, the rearranged date for your bout with Cambosa, yeah. let's just touch on these past seven, eight months. Uh, how have you found kind of lockdown, Lee? I know it's very different in Wales to what it is over, uh, over in England. Yeah. So how have you found it? Yeah. To be honest, I found it quite, quite, quite enjoyable, you know, because um, you know, I've, I've got to spend a lot more time with my kids and my family, and um, my my friend Gavin, um, Gavin Gwyn, he he come over and built me a gym in my house, so I've been able to work in my house, and then done everything from home, so it's been okay to me. I was going to say, training wise, how, how have you found it? Has been difficult to to kind of keep on top of things. Has it been easy? How, how have you found it? Um. Just the same, same as normal, to be honest. I, I'm always in the gym anyway. I'm, I'm always keeping myself in shape. And like I said, Gabby Gwynn, he, he built, me a, built me a gym in my home. So I haven't had to travel to, to train. I've just been going outside and working. Obviously, so nice. you're in the same boat as, most, as pretty much every fighter with regards to having lost the best part of eight months of your career yeah. because of COVID. Um, given the... the position you are in your career you're trying to yeah. uh, your route towards a, another world title shot yeah is it frustrating do you feel like you, you've lost in particular more important years of your career in comparison to what other fighters? Um, it could be fr frustrating for some but i i just take it out it is, it is what it is everybody's going through the same thing i'm, I'm no different i there's a lot there's there's more bigger problems going on in the world than than me missing a couple of months of boxing. So I just take it out of this and just, just get on with it. It's life. With your time off, was there any kind of boxing type of footage you was looking at with regards to George Cambosas Jr.? Was you kind of still um, looking at all a bit more? or No, I don't, I don't really um, like study the boxers, my opponents. I, I, I like to have a, qu a quick look just to, to see what's that. Like, they go over there, a pressure fighter, back foot fighter, soft ball orthodox. But I don't really look no more into in, in, into that. I, I just try and get myself right and, and adapt on the night. Well, so let's move on to the, the fight then. With this extra time that you have had to, to prepare, granted it hasn't been ideal, but do you feel it will benefit you? Do you feel like it will... Or do Sorry, you I, I lost you for a second. I lost you for a second and it, it froze the screen. I was going to say, um, do you feel like with kind of this extra time that you have had uh, to prepare for the Cambosos fight, which has been rearranged yeah. for October 1st, do you feel that will yeah. be of a benefit for you? Um, I don't know if it's a benefit. I, I just, I don't think it'll make, make, make any difference, to be honest. You know, I, I've done all the work. I'm always doing the work, whether I'm fighting or not. So it, it just, just depends on the night, how I perform. What are you preparing for in Cambosos Jr.? For those over here in the UK who haven't seen him, what do you know about him? What are you expecting from him? Um, he's very confident. He, he got fast hands. He throws a nice little right uppercut in, inside. But um, I don't think he can box too, too clever from distance. And like, he, he sort of... He... Sorry, I, I had a call come through on my phone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, 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 he like trying. Try and force the pace, pace try and try and pressure me. But um, that, that, that's how I like him. Lee, do you feel there's more pressure on heading into this fight yourself or George? Um, I'm I'm not I'm not too sure to be honest. And like I I just did a, a number interview and and what where I said like the, the loser and the loser of any any fights that are taking place at the moment could have a a, a real long wait until they box again. Do, under these circumstances, so there's a lot of pressure on pressure pressure on the sport. Do you think it's harder, given what you've just said as well? Do you think it's going to be harder to get a fight uh, further down the line if you actually win? Because when you're looking at it, you have the, the Lopez Loma fight. For well, it's, it's a no, no. So, it it probably it probably will be. A, well, no one no one knows the answer to that. So we're all in the unknown. We're all in the same boat. The only time so, will tell. Um, obviously. This is this is kind of a, a few fights into your your move up to lightweight. As you've adjusted yeah. to the weight now, how have you found it? A couple a couple of weights up, you jumped from super yeah. sorry from feather. How have you found it now? A, a lot more comfortable, and like like I, I can train with food in my stomach rather than train train on an empty stomach. So I got I got a bit more energy. 
But I mean, it's still difficult to make the weight. It's, it's not like plain sailing. It's not like I can just eat, eat, eat what I want. I still got to be very, very strict on my diet and, and train religiously to, to make the weight. The show going on behind closed doors as well, Lee. I'm sure as, as an yeah. amateur, you'd, you'd have done that plenty of times where yeah. you had next to nobody in a venue. Yeah. But how do you feel about that? Do you feel like it will make a difference? Um, to be honest, I haven't even thought about it. And I, I, don't, know what, I don't know how it's going to affect me, whether it'll affect me in the good or the bad. It, it might affect me in a, in a, in a positive way. I, it could just, just be like a sparring session where, where there's no pressure. And when I, when I spar, I, I, I box lovely. Or, or I could feel... I, I don't know. I can't actually know. I, I will, I will, ask me um, November the 1st and I'll give you an answer. I'll make sure I drop you a call then, um, Lee, that's your point up there. Um, but with the fight itself, how are you expecting it to play out in your own mind then? Have you thought about kind of the approach George will take and how you'll look to kind of counteract that? I, I, I think he'll come out, come out fast for the first couple of rounds, like, like he did in his last fight. And um, I, I'll, I'll slow him down with, 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 the, with the left hand, with, with the straight hard shots. And um, we'll, we'll see, how, see how the fight pans off from there. But I'd imagine you come out by quite quick starting off. Lee, as you mentioned, it's obviously it's a final eliminator for that IBF belt, which is currently held by Teofimo Lopez. He obviously fights uh, Vasil Lomachenko in an undisputed yeah. bout this coming weekend. Just first and foremost, what are your thoughts on that, Lee? I, th I think it's a massive fight. A, a brilliant, it's going to be a brilliant fight to watch while it lasts. Um, when, when, when it was announced, I thought Lopez would pull off pull off the upset, a KO upset. But the closer the fight's getting, the more I'm I'm going back to, to Lomachenko. I know and the closest yeah, I've I'm seeing Lomachenko winning wide as well. Is that again sorry Lee just broke up for a split second? I I said in the beginning that um I, I was like picking Lopez to cause an upset, but now the closest gets the wider I see Lomachenko winning, which which is strange. I know with the ability that you have, Lee, and your obviously former past achievements in the sport, you'll be very mm -hmm. confident. But with whoever wins out of Loma Lopez, how do you feel obviously stepping into the ring with, say, if Lomachenko wins, he's obviously seen as one yeah. of the best fighters in the world. But if Teofimo yeah. was to defeat him, he certainly you have to put him in then a pound-for-pound pound rankings. You know, yeah. how, how do you feel obviously knowing that and how do you feel you'd adjust to facing one of those guys? Sorry, a call again. <laughs> Sorry, That's very popular. Um, I, I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to um to fight the winner, and I prefer to fight um, Lomachenko because if he wins, he'll be regarded as as the number one pound for pound. I think, and um, you'll get more credit with him. Win, lose, draw, however, however it pans up. All in a, a, a theoretical situation and scenario, but let's say if you obviously you're victorious against George and you was to yeah. fight Vasily if he defeated Tiafimo, do you feel that you would? Better, or do you feel what differences do you feel you'd provide in a bout with Vasil Lomachenko compared to your uh, British counterparts in Anthony Krala and Luke Campbell when they both fought Vasil Lomachenko? I, I think the the footwork and the movement might might play a part. He's used to like doing doing the moving, but like when, when we dancing on the ring, it, it it could it could have an effect. I think. And you've also got your campmate Jamie Cox gearing up for his his own return yeah. to the ring as well. Now, has Jamie been looking in camp? He, he's looking great. He, he's he's very very strong. Punches very hard, and, and he's a good boxer, southpaw. And um, I I think he make waves in the, in the middleweight division. So it's about his fight with Jack Cullen, Lee. What do you make of it? To be honest, I I don't really know Jack Cullen. I, I I don't I know of him, but I don't I don't really know. I haven't, I haven't seen him fight. I know he's really tall, but um, I I can't see any anybody at Cullen's level taking the power of of Jamie Cox. If if he catches him correct, he, he'll put him away. I think. Final thing, uh, Lee. Before I do let you shoot off to enjoy the rest of your day. Um, news has broken recently that the Wilder Fury free fight is off now. Um, Wilder's contract has expired. Yeah. Just get your thoughts on that and what should lead to the undisputed bout with Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury next year, provided both he and Fury win their fight in the coming months. Well, I I, I couldn't see Wilder having a chance in the third fight, so it's 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 kind of pointless anyway. I'm, I'm the free fights, but um. You know, Tyson Fury is in a class of his own. Um, um, what, what a great fight that would be for um, British boxing, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. But, but that, that's, a fight, that's a fight that needs fans. 
it needs to be in a big, big stadium and um, with fans with it. I thought that you'd be pushing to get onto the undercard, I take it, or? Oh, that'd be lovely, man. Be nice. Lee, I'll leave you now to enjoy the rest of your day. But final word before I let you shoot off, what would you like to say to everybody ahead of your bout with George Cambosos Jr. on October 31st? I'd just like to say thank you for all, all the support from the fans and I hope you tune in and I'll, I'll hopefully put on a great performance for you guys and I'll give my best as always. Lee, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you. I'm sure I'll speak to you again right. soon. Thank, thank you for your time and thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Yeah, no problem.